So you see here another reading, guys. Um, the question is that I wanted to ask was, do they love you? So we want to see how deep is their love? Do they love you? So I want to answer that question, okay, with yes or no. And we will see with the cards. So make your choice. We have four piles, part one, part two, part three, and part four. This is a seller. I don't know why this card came out, but I just chose randomly cards that I have. And um, yeah, make your choice and then we'll see what the cards say, okay? And also thank you very much for everyone who's donating to my channel. Thank you everyone who's here every day with me, watching my readings, healing with our channels. I'm very, I'm channel, I'm very happy about you guys. And um, yeah, let's do this. The timestamps are as always in the description box below. Okay, see you at part one, guys. <laughs> Please subscribe if you're here for the first time. Thank you, bye. So hi part one, so let's see. We have the seller here. This is the card you chose. I don't know if you can see it really. I hope so. I hope the lighting is good so that you can see it. So let's see. It says, sometimes you end up in a cave. Don't worry. Find your way out and take the treasures with you. Well, that sounds not very nice. What is this? Sometimes you end up in a cave. Don't worry, find your way out and take the treasure with you. Hmm. Okay, let's see what it means. So we're having, oh wow, we're having coming together. And I love these cards. We have the three of pentacles. Hmm. First, I want to get the cards. The hangman. Wow, the sun. Looks like, like Major Arcana. And then we have acknowledging my desire. So yes, they do love you. Yes, we have the two of cups here in the sun card. So that tells me yes, because I was I was um, worried because I read this quote and it says sometimes you end up in a cave. Don't worry, find your way out and take the treasure with you. Okay, I feel that person sees you as their treasure. Okay, and they ended up in a cave because um, I feel this person has. Um, problems to acknowledge um, this connection to their friends and their family. I see that they're trying to explain this whole connection to their family, to their friends, and they won't understand. You know, it's like um, trying to make a point, trying to tell everyone how much um, you are in love, but no one really understands, you know. So it's like they really want to be together with you because you're, you're their treasure, you are their pearl. And they try to explain it because they somehow end up in this cave. The cave means, um, you know, they have to hide with you almost. You know, the cave is something um, only, it's like a secret, you know. So I feel here this connection is in the hangman position, meaning there is nothing going on right now because... Um, <clears throat> all we see but i think your person is um has to learn and acknowledge their desires because i really feel here that other people are telling them look at also how the colors resonate it's very beautiful can you see this you see how those colors match how beautiful this is so it's like, I really feel that they have to acknowledge their desire towards you. They have to, to, um, to live this bond, to feel happy with this bond and to not care what other people think. I really feel that, um, trying to explain it to others is a burden here in this connection. That's why they end up in that cave and they have to keep it a secret because no one really understands in their surroundings, maybe in your surroundings too. Maybe if this is a twin, you know, it's vice versa. 
but I really feel they love you. Yeah, they love you. I mean, we have the sun here, we have the two of cups here and they really want to be with you, but you know, they have to accept the fact that, um, you know, not everyone has to like that, what they're doing. Not everyone has to acknowledge their desire. Not everyone has to say yes to your bond, to your connection, to your relationship, you know? It says, today I will release the belief that my needs are never met. I will acknowledge my desires, then turn them over to my higher power. My wants and needs are not an accident. God created them when he created me. And I think the timing when he doesn't care anymore, he finds out of that cave and takes you with him. Because that's what, that's what the sun card usually says, you know, it's like... Um, both of them are like running out of this cave, you know, in ultimate happiness. This card is for me shining so bright. It's such a beautiful tarot card. So, um, yes, they do love you and you have to give them time. The hangman is in the center position here. So you really have to give them time so that they can learn how to acknowledge this connection. Um, as long as they don't do that, you wouldn't have a chance because their surroundings um, they can put very much pressure on your person. So you must give them the, ta the time to decide for themselves, you know. So let's see a timing card. I want to get the timing. When When is the timing? When do they acknowledge this? When they, do they learn to acknowledge their desire? Eight of Cups. Well, it's when they begin to walk away from people that don't acknowledge it. Like they have to walk away from some bonds in their life that do not. Um, yeah, they do not acknowledge this. They have to wake up, walk away from those people, you know. So this is the timing. They Whenever they walk away from um, certain bonds in their in their um, life that's when this happens okay so the eight of cups it's like eight months I'm hearing eight months so give them the timing of eight months okay so that's all what I'm having guys okay pile one bye hi pile two so let's see do they love you? So let's see your quote first. It says, I try to do art, especially paintings, because I miss you. Okay, so they do express their love in art. So let's see. Well, it sounds nice, right? It sounds like they miss you. So, well, we have a master, so they put their heart in there in a cave. We have the high priestess. They keep it a secret. That's like part one almost. They don't tell anyone. It's like they keep it safe. They keep it for themselves, this love. They don't tell anyone. Let's see if they, um, you know, it says, I try to do art. They cannot express their love. That's what I'm seeing. They cannot express their love freely. They have to keep it as a secret. So it could be that they are married to someone else, like, Guys, I hope you're not in a connection where they have someone else because, you know, the high priest is here with the devil card. That's like keeping you a secret because they can't express this love. That's like you are a secret here. So let's see. That's the eight of wands. I really feel that you guys live far away from each other. Like over the world, you know, it's like they want to travel to you, towards you. They want to come towards you, but they keep you a secret. And the tower, well, everything is crumbling down if they do. Okay. And it says accepting change. Yeah, 
Guys, I feel they do love you, okay? I feel they want this connection. They miss you. I mean, they say it. I try to do art, especially painting, because I miss you, okay? But the thing is here, we have the devil and the high priestess. That's a big secret. So you are a secret. So they are either in another connection with someone else. And this other person doesn't know anything of you. Okay. Or this, if this is not a connection in real life, please, ex um, please, you know, apply it as it fits. Because, you know, most, most of you are soul bonds that I have here on my channel. So in a soul bond, that would, that would mean that this person knows of this soul connection, but you guys live far away and they see no chance of you guys coming together. Because if they do, like everything would fall down. Everything what they have built up, you know, we have the 16, the 15, um, everything what they have built up would crumble down if they would reach out. Because this looks like a skeleton hand for me, you know? Doesn't it look like a skeleton hand that reaches out over the world? But it's a skeleton. A skeleton means death. So they're not doing this. They're not reaching out because they are afraid that if they do, everything would crumble down. But still, they miss you. Still, they try to express their love somehow different in art, in music, in something what they're doing. Like they have this heart with them, you know, they keep this heart in a box. But, you know, please apply it. So yes, they love you. Yes, they miss you. I don't know if you can say they love you because they, um, if this is a soul bond, they have never met you. So you cannot, well, you can't say they love you because soul, soul um, you know, twin flames or soulmates, they always love each other even not knowing with each other because you are connected to each other. Of course you love each other unconditionally, yes. And if this is a connection in real life, then they cannot reach out to you and they have a different life. It's like this person has a different life than with you, that's for sure. If this is all soul bond, um, then it doesn't mean they have to have someone else. You know, it could mean that, but you know, it just could be that they cannot reach out to you for whatever reason. For whatever reason, everything would crumble down if they do. If this is um, a real life person, yeah, they also have that problem. Whatever reason it is, you know, they could be in a different uh, relationship. They could be in a different marriage um, and they keep you a secret, you know. They're not accepting change. This person is afraid of change. They don't want to change. I feel they don't want to change. They say, today I will be open to the process of change. I will trust my higher power and believe that the place where I'll be dropped off is better than the place where I was picked up. I know the change is necessary to take me wherever I need to go. This person is resistance, resisting this change. If they open up about this connection, change would come immediately. I mean, the tower, everything would fall apart. And that's, they are afraid of this tower. They are afraid of this tower. Your person has to acknowledge and accept this change and accept the tower falling in. As long as they stretch the tower, because the tower would come eventually. Look at this. Even if you would not be with that person, even if they would maybe someday love someone else, the tower has to crumble down. It's at the end here. So I really feel this is what they have to learn. Your person loves you, yes. But they have to learn to open up about this. They have to learn that this tower eventually crumbles down. It's only that the time span when this is crumbling down, they strengthen for whatever reason. And maybe it's good, maybe it's not good, you know. We don't know, but you know, I know the universe and the universe doesn't do anything for, ta doesn't take anything for granted. So if they want to prolong this falling of this tower, then it's for, for the good of humanity. It's for the good for this person. It's for the good of you. So you need to accept this. This is success. So this person could be someone really successful. And also the success tells me that this will happen. You know, this tower will immediately crumble down and they will reach out to you. I really feel they will reach out to you, but they have to accept this change. And I feel the six of wands being 
not as fast as the six of cups guys i really feel the six of wands here being i don't know not months not days not hours not nothing this is like it takes some years guys this is really accepting this tower this tower is big guys they have built this for years they have built this tower look how big this tower is okay so yes they do love you but they need really long time to get over this to accept this change okay guys so that's all what i'm having for my part two i hope you like this bye guys hi guys so let's see okay let's see part three does your person love you let's see what the quote says it says when i think of you i often feel like drowning into a blue sea blue is a color i really like that's good that that blue is there <laughs> Because, you know, when you think of drowning into the sea, it could also mean something negative. But blue is something that they like. So let's see. So we have a beautiful blue color here. Do they love you? Wow, we have shine. So this is the sun card. So yeah. The knight of wands. They want to come towards you. Like, they're ready to come towards you. Like, this is the Knight of Wands. Look at those beautiful cards. I really love them. It's like, you shine the light. You really express your love for them. I think they've seen that. Like, I feel that your person knows that you shine for them. You really burn for them. This is your energy, I feel. Also, the love for you makes them shine. So, I think this is vice versa. Yeah drowning into a blue sea they want to come forward yeah this is a couple this is a couple the knight of wands and the queen of wands okay the wands energy i don't think it is in this case that um they have to be fire signs you know this the wands could be fire signs um sagittarius leo or Aries. but i really feel the guy is younger the knight is younger than the queen so your person is of course younger than you i see that in the cards and um they want to move towards you yeah it's like they want to show you their love they really want to show you their love they really love you they want to come forward they really want to run towards you the knight of wands wants to you know that's a fast movement that's a fast movement towards you i see that you're also waiting on them you're also waiting on them and we have the sun card here, so most beautiful. So yes, of course they love you. What's the problem here? Well, those cards don't tell me any problem. Again, we have movement. Yeah, we have movement. I can put those cards here. So this is movement from their side towards you. They're trying to manifest this movement. Also, moving away in their thought system. You know, this is physically coming and this is um in their thought system that they can come towards you because drowning into a blue sea that's like a thought that they have so yeah they really love you i see that here so what's the problem here so it's allowing things to happen okay today i will let things happen without worrying about the significance of each event i will trust that this will bring about my growth faster than running around with a microscope I will have faith that my lesson will reveal themselves in their own time. They are afraid that something might happen when they run towards you. I will trust that this will bring about my growth faster than running around with a microscope. They don't want to do something wrong. They don't want to do something wrong and end up without you. When I think of you, I often feel like drowning into a blue sea. Yeah, a sea is... It's like an ocean. And we have the ocean here. They want to cross the ocean. You see this here? They have to sail on the ocean rather than drown on it. I feel the ocean is all the everything what lies between you so i really feel that there is an ocean between the two of you you also see this here so you live far apart from each other you really see this 
and they're going with a microscope they don't want like every step that they're doing they don't want to do something wrong in order because they think they might lose you they're very much in their head they have to come out of their head that's what happens it says allow things to happen they're not allowing things to happen because you know they have no idea in which directions they need to go it's like they're all over the place you see this also here in this card it's like they're oh my gosh you know where i need to go what should i do maybe if i go east first it would destroy my relationship you know they don't want to do something wrong here because this connection means everything to them so it's like they're blocking out themselves you know they could move the path is free but because there is so much in their head they don't want to do something wrong it's like they're blocking themselves like here you see this like he here he could run freely towards her but he blocks himself out you see how he blocks this is his thought system this is what blocks him no i got it huh let's see the timing when they they have to stop blocking themselves this person here but they do do love you yeah Lee, see the knight of cups they want to come forward they want to offer you their cup they want to have to they, they need to drown in that blue sea they need to get into their feelings not in their head they th think of you and then they drown but they need to drown in their feelings you know they need to miss you so much that they stop worrying they need to stop worrying about every little detail of this connection they're worrying about every little detail and that's how they block themselves they need this blockage they have to overcome by just walking by just taking the cup and you know like the romantic knight of cups just walks sometimes even when he's walking he changes his mind and he walks somewhere else that's why the knight of cups sometimes doesn't arrive at his destination you know that's why the knight of cups is you know always starting to walk he doesn't care it's not the knight like the knight of pentacles that's like very very slow the knight of cups just walks because he has this cups he has these feelings he wants to offer them so he walks and sometimes he changes his mind while he walks but he begins walking and your person is like stopping before he even begins to walk you know because he, ha he doesn't want to do anything wrong so that's what they have to overcome okay okay guys that's all what i'm having see you part three bye part four so let's see do they love you let's see what we have here it says i watched your sns and it's beautiful thank you for showing your love so they spied on you they spy on you they watch your social media so let's see what they're feeling okay they're feeling control that's very interesting let's see what this is all about wow that's a control in <laughs> the queen of swords that's the queen of swords energy the magician yeah the chariot wow focusing on peace Um, I'm really thinking on how to make sense here of the whole thing. I feel this is your energy. That's why I try to make sense of it. That's why they watched this.
I really feel with this control, this Queen of Swords, the Magician and the Jariot, this is your energy trying to manifest them, trying to do everything possible. Like you look at the sword, this is your one. You see this? You could be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius because this is what the Queen of Swords means. But I only see here that you hold the sword. This is your sword. This is your one. This is your truth. Okay. You try to control spirit and to try to manifest. It's like you want to take over the role of spirit and you want to run towards them. <clears throat> Okay, it's basically what I'm feeling here is they cannot say this. I cannot say if they love you or not because I have your energy here. This is typical for twin flames, okay? This is very typical. So this is like a message from them that you should focus on peace. Finding peace and not trying to control the whole thing. It's like, you know, for me, I see that they saw this. They know that you belong together. It's cause I'm, somehow they know. They know something. But it's not that they love you because they don't know who you are. You know? It's like they have never met you. They have never. Mm. This feels like a crush, okay? I'm just saying as it is. This feels like you are having a crush on this person. This person has seen all this. But. They can't make any sense of it because they don't know what to do with it. This, this is all you. Trying to manifest, trying to control the whole situation. And that's why I feel that they're watching, they're waiting and they're seeing what happens. It's like they're open, okay? It's not that they don't love you and it's not like they cannot even say they love you because... They have never met you. And it's like this energy here. I watched your social media and it's beautiful. Thank you for showing your love. They're like our boys, you know, they're, they're really appreciative of your love. They really see that you have a crush on them. They really see that and they think you're admired. They, they, they think you're beautiful and they think you're, you're, this is all beautiful and cute. But, you know, they can't make any sense of it. They're waiting on spirit, what spirit wants to do with this. But as long as you're trying to control the whole thing, you're not moving into the, their direction, okay? So what they tell you is, please focus on peace, then you might move more towards their direction, you know? It says, focusing on peace. Today I will focus on a peaceful pace. Rather than a har harried one, I will keep moving forward gently, not frantically. And that's what we have here. I will let go of my need to be anxious and upset and will replace these feelings with calmness and harmony. They really feel you You almost run. I mean, those are two cards of manifesting, running towards that person, seeing only this person. That's like almost obsession, trying to control it, you know. So this energy here is saying, please um, go with the flow. Please let spirit take over. Please be peaceful with that, no matter what's the outcome. And then, you know, the spirit is giving me anything about them because they're not giving me anything about them. It's like the, they're showing you yourself. It's like a mirror here. And the mirror says, stop doing what you're doing because you're not moving into their direction because spirit is holding you. You need to let go. You need to just let go of this whole situation and then you move more towards here. What are they feeling here towards this connection okay ace of wands yeah they're, they're passionate about this they really they really want to start this they're they're, they're um excited like they're interested yeah they're waiting they're waiting what happens they're not making a decision they can't make a decision that's what i told you they're waiting, they're sitting there, they're interested, you know, the Ace of Wands, what that means. They, so they, they watched you, they've seen you, so they're interested, yes. They're also sexually interested, yes, I see this. 
but um, they're, they, I cannot say if they love you because they feel like this is they've never seen you, they've never touched you, they've never met you. This is like a crush. And they watched it and they think, oh, you know, this, this, um, this person might be interesting. But it's, that's it. You know, that's it. They say, well, if you come towards me, then that's fine. Um, I won't say no. You know, I, I, I want to get to know you. But um, don't, like, those energies are like, don't try to control me. Don't try to tell me what I should do. Um, don't, you know, it feels for them very um, unescapable. And as long as the situation is like this, it's like you're chasing them. And as long, guys, as you chase them, this won't happen. They would just watch your social media and say, well, that person is interesting, but spirit is, will, spirit is not bringing you further to them. Because you need to be peaceful. You need to be okay. You need to learn to stop doing this. Okay, part four. That's very interesting, though. That was a very interesting pile. I really like that pile very much, you know. Okay, guys, that's all what I'm having for part four. Bye, guys.